All right, Coach, feel free to give an opening statement and then we'll open it up for questions. Okay, so I am Coach Jenny, the head field hockey coach at the University of Lynchburg. This will be my 10th season um, at Lynchburg, first as head coach, so super excited to get things rolling. Um, we blinked and preseason is done and we have five sleeps until our first game. We'll be on Shelley this Friday, one o'clock, so everybody got to be there. So yeah, we're super excited. Um, to be in this position and just just ready to kick start things off at home so and um, this season super exciting we have three seniors that seems like they came here yesterday and um, great leaders on the field we have seven freshmen that kind of get to be mentored by them and um, with the leadership they have they're definitely going to leave an impact and um, from the three so behind that we have the junior class which is kind of our heart and soul so they're the biggest and they got some big boots to fill from our three seniors and um, we're expecting a lot from them this year. And then it comes to our sophomore class, which um, kind of the honeymoon period is over. They kind of got to step up a little and um, we don't really believe in the sophomore slump here. So they got big boots to fill and we're really excited to see what they can achieve this year. And then lastly, we got our seven freshmen who um, two internationals, five um, in, in, in America and then um, they're going to tail it off. A lot of them have been coming here for a couple of years. We've been in communication, so it doesn't really seem like a new team or new people come in. Um, a lot of them have been in the mix for a while. So we're just really excited to get things going and really feel like a team and move towards our, our goal later in this fall. It's going to be a busy three months, but we're excited. We're here for it. Coach, a really successful 2023 campaign. Now that you step at the helm, first year head coach, how do you try and carry that success from last year to this season? Yeah, I think we really want to obviously carry the momentum from last year, but I think it's being realistic and looking at it as a big picture of this is a new team, there's new players, there's new traditions, new staff, that um, the unknown is exciting. Like we, we want the momentum, but we're also starting a lot of new stuff that we're excited about. We're trying new things. Um, the energy of this team is something that's special. So even these past couple of weeks and communicating in summer, it's just the butterflies from the unknown of the fun and what's next. Well, I don't know what's next. Neither do you guys. We'll, we'll kind of see where it is, but um, we're really good at adapting. I think it's a strength of our team and we're going to be adapting from week to week to see, see what's in the, in the future for us. Well, coach, obviously you've been around field hockey at a high level for a long time. It goes back to your playing days in Michigan State. And so when you are you know, announced as head coach and ultimately you're in the driver's seat, what culturally do you want to see change or stay the same going into the season? What is that Jenny Relford handprint? Um, I think a lot of my upbringing from Scotland has a lot to do with where I am today and how I got here. I mean, I have some phenomenal coaches back home. Um, Vicky Bonds, Ian Tracken, Alan Law, just to name a three, that are just huge impacts to me as a person and also just the way they coached me, communicated to me, have led me to the States. And then obviously at MSU, I had two phenomenal coaches that um, kind of mentor me and still to this day I keep in touch with that really have helped tweak to how this spring went, obviously first as head coach and um, it's nice to always have someone to rely on, a shoulder to ask a question to. So um, I think using a lot of the things, especially from back home, I'm kind of in a unique spot that I've had a lot of good coaches. So um, I think it's tweaking their styles to mine and um, gluing it all together to, to figure out what's going to be best. I'm sure there'll be some good days. I'm sure there'll be some bad, but we're here for it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, what are some of your you know, top goals that you guys want to achieve as a collective group or individually as you as a coach this year? Um, as a group, I mean, we want to be in the same spot we were last year. We really want to go the distance, um, if not further. Um, I think a big thing that we've really focused on this spring is we all came to Lynchburg for a lot of reasons, but one of the main being field hockey and that we love this sport. Um, we're showing up to practice, to games of we're here because we love it. We eat, sleep, breathe, field hockey, and um, if you're not having fun, then we're not gonna get to where we were. So we gotta have fun to do it. Of course, again, there will be some days that aren't gonna be so fun when it's day one of preseason and we're doing fitness tests, but um, it's worth it in the long run and we, got, we gotta have fun and that's gonna be a big goal. Is If you're not having fun, then 
we're not going to reach it as a team. So um, really putting that at the emphasis of we can win and still have fun. It's not just it's not it's not not fun winning. Um, and I think really focus on them and adapt on our goals if they need to be a cha- changed to make it to that point. Coach, you said yourself, basically a brand new team this year, granted with a lot of great returners coming back. With that being said, who are one or a few players that you expect to make a big leap in production this season? I mean, I feel like I could honestly go down the whole roster and list off just with how preseasons went. Um, it's been it's been a fun preseason. We've had a lot of people step up. Um, I think about Danny Kuhn came back from injury two years ago after tearing her ACL in the summer, and last year she was kind of gathering her feet again, and um, she's just kick-started preseason with such a great just mentality, team spirit, that um, I'm really excited for where she is and just... I think seeing the love for field hockey shine again, that the injuries now in the past that has been really exciting. And I mean, I mean, our, th- our three seniors, um, this is their, their last go around. So super excited to see what they can produce and do. But it's, it'll be interesting. There's a lot of people stepping up. Sar is another one. I mean, she's been predominantly a defender for us in this preseason. She's really been showing a lot of attributes, pushing into that forward line or attacking mid that we're excited to see these people shine through that um, deserve it, and I've been working really hard for it. Well, staying on the topic of lineups, you had five players last season that started every game, and they're all gone for the season. And so you talk about people stepping up. How much of that starting lineup, and really that ultimately the players that are going to be on the field in the big moments, how much of that is determined by the first few games versus camp? You know, What's your approach on that? Um, I think for me... The starting lineup is just the lineup. I'm brought up to from a different I feel like culture from America where the starting lineup doesn't mean they're the best to live in. I'm hoping that 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 kids are all doing the exact same as what those starting 11 are doing. So, yeah, it's a stat, and we know that the Americans love the stats, but there's a lot more to it than just that. So, um, yeah, there's, there's shoes to fill, and with the way spring's going, um, the shoes are getting filled and it's really exciting to have those opportunities that multiple players are going to be contributing. It's not one or two and the excitement of, I think, the whole team looking at each other being like, oh, you scored today and yesterday it was this person. Like, it's, it's a fun feeling and it's been fun in practice just having different people step up at different times. Um, is there any specific game or you know matchup this season that you're looking forward to the most, and why is that kind of what you're looking forward to? And we have two trips to PA, so we're definitely excited to go back to PA. The caliber is high. Our first trip to PA will be on the Astro for both games, and um, so we, we we love the Astro. It's obviously faster. Um, our internationals obviously like it a little better, so very excited for that. York, um, we obviously played them twice last year and came out on top in both, so I'm sure they're wanting to come back for a little revenge. So exciting having those games. We also have a lot of new teams on the, the schedule this year, so again, it's the unexpected of we don't know what to expect to them, and hopefully they don't know what to expect from us, so um, we'll see. But we got, we got a good, good little home schedule, so we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Coach, it seems, like, questions. it seems like you guys are really excited about all the unknowns, but on another note, are there any challenges that you anticipate to face with all the unknowns? Yeah, I think there's always going to be challenges, especially there's going to be outside factors always. Um, I think a big one is I was, there's a Kobe Bryant quote about there's always going to be haters. Um, the haters don't hate the good, they hate the great. So if that's going to be from other teams, if that's going to be from other coaches. I mean, Lynchburg already has that stigma of, oh, there's that there. It's Lynchburg. They're that annoying team that um, we already know that we, we have haters. But for us, that's a win-win. We've only got stuff to prove, and um, this team are definitely here to prove it. Let's look at health going into the season. Obviously, you want to prioritize that even coming out of the summer. What is the lineup looking like right now in terms of injuries? Yeah, I mean, right now, preseason has been good. Most, most of the part, there's always going to be little tweaks here and there with everything, but especially with Coach Holden and Coach Smith down in Wake and Alexis or AT, we've been keeping everyone pretty healthy, and the sun has been in our favor, and it's not been too bad in preseason. So um, I think this week we're about to, to hit up close to the 100. So um, we're ready for it, but um, everyone seems in great spots. So I'm excited that everybody's pretty, pretty healthy for the season. Anything you'd like to add, Coach, that we didn't ask? 
no, I mean, I'm excited for you guys to talk to the, the girls and get their input. And yeah, we're just excited for the five sleeps to be done with and, and kickstart the season. So thank you guys for having us. And um, we can't wait to, to impress you guys this season, hopefully. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.